Taurus, Aditi here with Lodestone Productions, where we help you find your true north. So we're going to do a quick reading for you for the month of December. Uh, bear in mind that spirit is not bound to this time and space continuum. So the timing may be fluid. Also, there is no gender with spirit. So when I say he, when I'm looking at the cards that are of a masculine nature, we are talking about the energy signature, not necessarily the body parts. Um, also, bear in mind that this is a general read. So not everything is going to resonate with everyone. If you would like a more specific read, the information on how to get a personal for me will be in the description box below. Okay, I think that is all of the housekeeping. Oh, yes, one more thing. Welcome to the channel. So glad you're here. Um, we're going to be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and let's see. Spirit guides and angels, what information do you have for Taurus for the month of December? Taurus for the month of December. What messages do you have for Taurus for the month of December? Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's check this out. So we've got the devil, we've got the three of swords. Knight of Pentacles. Devil is clarified by the Four of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. Three of Swords is clarified by the Five of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. And then the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Moon and the Knight of Swords. We are really keeping our emotions close to the vest. We're not letting anybody know anything. And hanging on to this, hanging on to all of this, hanging on to all of this emotion is really eating at you. It's, it's causing heartbreak and it's making you, it's making you defensive about working with other people. It's causing you heartache, like real heartache. I can, I can feel the tightness in my chest while I'm talking about it, like, it, it, yep, there goes the goose pimples. Okay, and this, this, and the thing is, is like I, I see that there is a desire for this passion to be out front, but you feel like you need you need to either keep it under wraps or cut it off altogether. Cut it off altogether. Taurus. Taurus. I'm hearing embrace all of you. The whole you. Not just the you that you think should be perfect, but the whole you. And that emotions are not a sign of weakness. So, uh, oh, oh, okay. All right, so we're clarifying... Oh, let's check the bottom of the deck. Look, the bottom of the deck is the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck, y'all. Wait, wait, wait. Come on, Glare. This is not working. Okay, Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you are really in your heads about this. All right, so... Uh, clarifying the first row with the Devil, the Four of Pentacles, and the Queen of Cups. 
is the Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles. Yes, you are keeping something close. And not only are you keeping it close to the vest, you are working really hard at doing so. Man. And it's, this is weighing you down. This is weighing you, weighing you down. Like this, this pain that you've got here that you've been hanging on to for a very long time, you are brandishing it as a badge of honor. Even though it hurts, you're just like, look at all this pain that I can shoulder. <sighs> Taurus, like. And it's break. I, I can't, I can't get over this. This is breaking your heart. It is breaking your heart and you are, you, you are just like, look at all this pain. Look, look, look at this pain that I can handle. Yes, my heart is breaking, but I am still here. It's probably why you want to keep, want to keep these things so, man, man, y'all are, and just defensive because you're tender. My word. Tender. I, Spirit, clarify this second row. Can you give me more information on this second row with the Three of Swords, the Five of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles? Clarify the second row of the Three of Swords, Five of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. So we've got the two of pentacles, eight of wands showed back up. I mean, the eight of swords showed back up as well as the five of swords. Not only are you, I mean, you're juggling this, this pain. You, you are, you, you are walking this tightrope of pain management like a champ. And you wish a bitch would with this five of swords like it you you are you are ready to take them out and ask questions of the carcass and it is this 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 pain is that you are this long suffering that you're going through you are choosing it you are choosing it Taurus You are choosing you you are choosing to stay here. Wow, that's man, Taurus. All right, so I mean like I y'all y'all need to see this. Okay. So look at this ten of wands, right? See our character here is emaciated, got the baboon looking around and you know they are with the shits. And you got this owl over here looking over everything. Like, man, I can see through, I can see, I can see through dark and like everyone is looking in the same direction. Everyone is looking through the same direction, right? So you've got air, you've got your human, and then you've got your, your beasts of the land. So you have the beast of the land and the beast of the, oh. You got air, earth, and fire. You have air, earth and fire in this card so the water is missing 
and obviously we've been looking for it for a long time, right? Man, he's tired. Man, he's tired. And the thing about this is that when you get to a 10, that's, there's, there's a change here. There's a change here, right? So whatever this is, it's been, yeah, it's been happening for a long time, which is, I mean, it would make sense if you've been going through this for an extended period of time that this headspace, this Eight of Swords here, this headspace would also come about because even here, the Eight of Swords is, it's, it's, it's like a, it's like a defense mechanism. It's like a defense mechanism. So, you know how if we suffer a really big injury, right? Or if any of us, if, if, if any of you have ever gone through surgery um, and the first thing they want to do is have you get up and walk around as soon as you come up out of the anesthesia because you don't want to stay stay still and then have the muscles entropy after they've been through so much, right? But when you go through something like that, you know, it's really scary getting up for the first time and moving for the first time after surgery, right? So with this sustained trial that you've been working so hard at, right? As a byproduct, you would juggle the mental anguish of defending yourself as well as being ready to fight anybody that comes through. But, you know, remember with like these five of swords, this is this is victory at all costs. This is a, a come what may kind of thing. This puts me in the mind of, you know, you treat those that are closest to you the worst. Let's, let's see, because we've got this moon card here and I wanna go ahead and clarify that too. The uh, Knight of Pentacles, the moon, and the Knight of, Knight of Swords. Huh, slow, secret, fast, slow, secret, fast, slow, secret, fast. Hmm. Let's clarify that and see where we're at with that. Word. Oh. So we've got, we've got strength. We've got the chariots, and we've got the wheel of fortune. You are going to come out. You are coming out of this. You've been going through. Ooh, you are coming out of this. Oh, you are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. Okay, okay. So, with with the strength card. All right. With the strength card, you've got balance. Check it. You've got you've got the balance between not just strength but also finesse, right? Um, we're looking at this bow and arrow. I mean, even in the image, even in the image, you have the, the delicate nature of the foliage. You have the piercing nature of the arrowhead. You have the strength required to pull the bow back. But then you also have to be, if you've ever shot a bow and arrow, 
you know that there is a level of stillness that is required. Uh, same thing with discharging a firearm or taking a photo with a camera. Like there's a level of stillness that you have to have in order to have the perfect result. So with the strength card, it's like balancing the strength and the finesse to be able to walk the tightrope to your desired goal. Uh, further illustrated by the chariot. Now, mind you, once you let this thing go, like when we're talking about the archer, once you release the bow, that's all you can do, right? The arrow is off doing its thing. The arrow is off doing its thing. Spirit is moving you forward, and your job now is to hang on. Hang on, dog on it, because we are moving fast. And not only are we moving fast, moving fast, Knight of Wands, um, we are moving fast, and things are moving in your favor. Okay. So let's see. Uh, Spirit, do we have any final pieces of advice for Taurus for the month of December? For Taurus for the month of December. Let's see. Knight of Wands. Ace of Swords and Strength again. What? What? Yeah. Yeah. Knight of Wands, Ace of Swords, and strength one more time you're gonna get a new lease on life and what you what you find to be true is different than what you used to find to be true you're you got You have a whole new life ahead of you. And it's going to be so different than what you have experienced up until now. These, these lessons that you've learned because going through, going through all of this is life changing. It's, it's life changing and you have a lot of lessons that you'll be able to take in the future with you however comma um, this this anguish the way that it was you won't have to see that again just hang on tight because spirit is coming through with some brand new fresh energy for you in blessings on blessings on blessings. Okay. So Taurus, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. Um, if you would like an extended, the information to purchase one will be in the description box. Um, also, follow me on Instagram as well as TikTok. All of my contact information will also be in there. Um, and be sure to hit the notification bell because I will upload all of the time. Uh, thank you again for spending time with me, and I will see you all next time. Adios, Taurus. <laughs>